Regardless of what I choose in the import dialog window, add, move, copy, copy as DNG, I'm always going to get the same option over here in the right under file handling. I'll click on that little arrow, open up file handling options, and you can see there's a couple of choices to be made. Under render previews, we have four choices, minimal, embedded sidecar, standard, or one-to-one. -one. What does this mean? On import, Lightroom is generating a preview that will show up in the library module. This is really just that, a preview, and you can choose how that preview is generated. If you select minimal, Lightroom is just going to grab whatever's in the camera that's been generated. If there's nothing in the camera, it will just make a very small thumbnail size. It just wants to get an image up on the screen in the library module that you can see, and it'll choose the fastest way to do that. If you choose embedded and sidecar, it's also going to try to make a fast selection, but based on whatever the camera is generating. If the camera is generating a larger size than just a thumbnail, for example, that the Lightroom would draw on for minimal, if that was your choice. But if a camera was uh, generating a larger preview, Lightroom would use that. It may take a little bit longer to generate a preview based on this selection than minimal. If you choose the standard preview, it will make a preview based on your preferences that you've set in the preview cache. And that's something that's set in previews. You have to actually have set your standard size earlier. Otherwise, it's just going to use a default size. This will take a little bit longer than embedded in sidecar and minimal because it's generating a larger preview. One-to-one -one is the slowest way of bringing in previews into Lightroom. That's generating a full one-to-one -one version of the image. So the question is, which one do you want to use? It really comes down to this. It doesn't matter. It matters if you want speed, because for speed, you certainly don't want to choose one-to-one. -one. You probably want to do the minimal setting. There's no consequences if you make the wrong choice here, other than just the speed. If you choose minimal, and later, if you need a one-to-one -one preview, like in the develop module, Lightroom automatically generates that on the fly. In other words, it will make it when it needs it. So if you've chosen one-to-one, -one, you have that ready to go. So theoretically, you could be up and seeing full one-to-one -one version of your image uh, right off the bat. The cost associated with that is just time on the import side. So it's your choice. I generally just keep it at minimal and let Lightroom generate the different sizes as it needs later on. The next option here is don't import suspected duplicates. Now, what does that mean? It seems clear right off hand, but you may want to think about whether you want this selected or not. Okay, so let's imagine this. You're bringing a folder that has, let's say, subfolders associated with it. And within those subfolders are the same image file. Photographers do that all the time. We get things organized over different methods, and before we know it, we have the same image file in one folder and another folder. So if you then bring the main folder with these subfolders in using Lightroom, Lightroom will look through and say, well, wait a minute, in this folder here, you have the same image file as that folder, or you may even have three or four different subfolders. It will only bring one in and associate it with whatever that subfolder was. And not it won't do anything to the other ones. It won't throw them away or anything. But you will not have any record whatsoever that duplicates exist in subfolders in your Lightroom database. You know, that may or may not be something you want because you may say, oh, wait a minute. Now, Lightroom has told me that this folder contains that image file, but I remember it being in another folder as well, and there's no record of it in Lightroom. If you deselect it, it's just going to bring everything in. And there's not really any cost involved with that. In other words, it's not doing anything bad to the files. You'll have a record of all these duplicates, which you can get rid of within Lightroom itself if you want to. It gives you control over what to do with the duplicates. So you may very well decide that you don't want that to be an option and deselect that. It's up to you. Now, the next selection, you can't see the third selection here under file handling because Actually, it is not an option if I've only selected Add up here in the top. This will become an option if I'm moving or copying, or copying as a DNG. And let me explain the logic of that. If you are moving a file from, say, one location to another, you then are actually moving the file. You're doing something to that file. You can then have Lightroom make a second copy. This is like a backup copy 
to another destination. So you can split it off and send it off to one hard drive. You can send it off to another destination. So you have your automatic backup. It's done right then for you. You don't have to do it later. It's out of the way. Again, if you're copying, you can do the same thing. You can send one copy to one location, one copy to another. Now, this isn't going to be an option if you're just adding a relationship between Lightroom and the original files. You're not doing anything to the original files. You're not moving them. You're not copying them. The point of this is when you use add, it's very fast. But the minute you start sending a second copy off someplace, that's going to take more time. So you wouldn't want to be doing that, especially if you've chosen add based on the ability to get previews fast into Lightroom. So that's not an option, but it is an option with the other choices. So that's the file handling pane in the Lightroom import window, and that's that.